If you aren't using these features in Midjourney, then you're missing out. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the top five features that you need to be using in Midjourney to get the best results. All right, so let's dive right into it. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite Midjourney features. The first one is the chaos parameter. So I'm gonna say forward slash imagine a race car race in Tennessee with many fans in the crowd and then for this first one we're going to say dash dash chaos one and then i'm going to copy the same prompt and choose chaos 99 and i'm going to explain what this means in just a second so paste that in so what the chaos parameter does basically um you choose a number between zero and 100 zero being the least amount of randomness and 100 being the most and it's going to basically um, alter the result to be either more or less random and unique and different um, based on that number. So I'll show you guys the difference in these two results when they finish. Okay, so let's check out the results. And the way Midjourney defines it, because I just looked it up, is um, basically more varied and random results with higher chaos numbers. So this was actually the lower chaos number. Um, Nothing particularly crazy about this. I don't know what's going on down here with this car. Um, and this is with 99. I wouldn't say the, either of these is that unexpected. Um, so that was kind of an interesting result. I don't think it really showed it off too well, but definitely check out that chaos uh, parameter. So for our second one is the describe feature. So instead of slash forward slash imagine, you're gonna use forward slash describe and then you can upload an image and it's going to give you a, a prompt recommendation for that image. So here we have an image of a cheetah and it's basically going to give us, here's four prompts that we could use to get a similar result. So uh, for this first one, it says, a cheetah walks through the savannah at sunset in the style of Nikon D850, close up and dash dash AR30 colon 19. Um, so I'll show you guys if we type in the same prompt here, it's going to give us what should be probably not exactly the same, but a pretty similar result. Okay, so here are the results. This is what uh, comes up when we use that exact prompt. And you can see pretty similar to that. So pretty impressive. Okay, so for the next feature that we're going to talk about, we're going to use the seed. Um, so what I'm going to do is upscale let me upscale the third one of these. And now that we have that upscaled, I'm going to go right here to these three dots and then use the envelope. This is one that I use frequently, so that's why it shows up there um, by default. And then now that we did that, we're gonna go to our direct messages and the Midjourney bot has sent us a seed. So we're gonna copy that seed right there. And then we're gonna go back and now we could say forward slash imagine um, a sunset in the desert with a cheetah walking by. And then we can do dash dash seed and paste this in. And the purpose of doing this would be to have this kind of serve as a reference um, or a source of kind of inspiration or material for the for this prompt here. So it's going to kind of look back at this and and take some of the elements of that previous one and apply them to this new one that we're creating. Okay, so here we have our results and you can see in each of them we do have a cheetah in the image. So especially these three, um, it looks a little bit more similar. This one here, it looks like it's like a baby cheetah. Um, but that kind of gives you an idea of how the seed works. So for this last one, um, we're going to use aspect ratio. We kind of used this in one of the ones before, but we're gonna say, um, let's see, forward slash imagine. Let's say the Eiffel Tower at night. And then we're gonna say dash dash AR 
16 colon 9. So this is going to set our aspect ratio as 16 to 9. All right, and so you can see for these results here, our aspect ratio is 16 to 9. So this is basically for every 16 units of width, it's 9 units tall. Um, so that's really helpful. You can get a variety of different sizes and shapes and uh, especially Midjourney version 5 lets you have a lot of different options for aspect ratio. Um, so I, I did misspeak. There is one more feature I want to show you guys. So uh, for this one we're going to say forward slash imagine and we're going to say a battle during World War II and then we're going to say dash dash Nietzsche 5. And so this is Niji mode, and this allows you to make anime art um, using Midjourney. So let's see what it comes up with for uh, this one here. Okay, so I really didn't know what to expect for this last one here for our results, but you can see here it's all kind of World War II style scenes in an anime style of art. So, um, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, but these are some great features that you definitely don't want to use Midjourney without implementing some of these because they are going to level up your results so much. Um, so I hope that you guys found this video helpful and if you did please make sure to like this video, comment and subscribe to the channel and let me know anything else that you want to see me um, make a video about in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching.